Hello and welcome to another tutorial for LightUp version 1.2. In this tutorial I just want to cover using components with embedded light sources. So I'm going to take a light fitting that uh, comes standard with uh, SketchUp and just drop one into my, my model. Um, I'm just going to do a little edit of this and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop in a face and paint it with a light emitting surface um, material. So we're going to create a new material. Uh, we want sort of a fairly cool color. I'll add some markup for light up. Underscore light up emitter. This means that this will be treated as an emitting material. And just paint that face. Okay, so um, let's just look at preferences. I want to just turn off Use Sun um, here. Um, and let's just see what we've got so far. Okay, so we've got a uh, little pool of light. What I'm going to do is take the Query tool and just click on that surface and really bump up um, the power and reduce down the spread. Okay, that's nice. Um, now I've got that set up, I'm able to use all the tools that uh, SketchUp provides. Um, so I can just uh, duplicate these um, and I'll be getting uh, multiple, multiple lights. So, there you go. Um, and what's nice is that, uh, of course, I can, I can put in um, you know, these get all get nicely occluded um, in the normal light up way. So if I add a little occlusion there, um, you get some, some nice occlusion from this. Also, I think um, one of the things you can do, of course, is to, uh, if I come here and I get a translucent material, like this green one, um, and just paint this block with a translucent material. Now, um, what I'll find is that uh, I get some nice dramatic uh, light coming through here. So that's just basically the use of um, components with embedded light, um, light sources um, and uh, how they're best used in uh, LightUp. 